Um, this video is actually uh, to talk about mu the musical. The musical is now done. We actually had our final performance uh, toward the end of November. So that is done and I'm just, just here to, to, to talk about my experiences with the musical. Um, I do have some pictures, I do have um, some clips uh, ready to show you guys, but really um, a lot of people do not know the story uh, surrounding the musical and how I got into it. To try and make the story short and sweet, uh, this happened last year, September, um, actually on Ivy K's birthday, which is really weird and trippy now that I think about it. But on Ivy K's birthday, our church, our church uh, held a fall picnic. We do this every year. And so it was kind of a busy day for me because the plan was that I would go to church. Ivy K and I were scheduled to teach, so we would teach. I would rush IBK to work, which is about maybe like 10 minutes away from the church. I would rush back, uh, maybe grab a bite to eat, and then uh, head over to the Bounty Castle before the kids get there, and hopefully um, keep them from hurting themselves or starting fights in those Bouncy Castles. So um, I did that, rushed them off, rushed back to the church. Um, I was a little bit frazzled, putting on a sweater because it was cold. And I looked around, I was like, okay, where can I find the food? And while I was pondering this, literally guys, some random lady, she walked up to me and I was like, we, we, we made eye contact and I was smiling at her and I was trying to think, do I know th this lady from somewhere? Have I seen her before? And the way she was looking at me she looked like she'd never seen me before so i was like hello and she said hello and and um we kind of like um acknowledged each other asked how we were doing and she said do i know anyone who is interested in singing acting and or dancing <laughs> literally that was the question she asked me of all people, I was like, mm -hmm. let me think, gee whiz, um, me? <laughs> so she burst out laughing because she thought, oh my goodness, what are the odds? I walked right up to somebody who was interested in all three things. And so we got talking and it turns out that um, her daughter uh, was kind of like the head, the, ch the CEO, the boss of um, Infinity Arts Productions and uh, her daughter was planning this musical. She has, She's actually had this musical for a couple of years now and the goal was to take this musical to Broadway and uh, it's called Mute, Mute the Musical. And she gave me her daughter's phone number and um, I mean, by this time, it was starting to get a little late. This was September. They started casting back in, well, yeah, like August. Um, and so I thought, okay, well, I'll just give it a try. I don't know how many rules they have left, but I'll just give it a try anyway. So I give her a call. Um, a, uh, I think the day after I gave her a call and uh, we had a chat. There was only one position left, one role left. And uh, this role was a female role. And I thought, okay, that's cool. Um, and she said, I don't even need to, like, we didn't even need to meet each other. She said, I don't even need to meet you. Just record your voice on a device or something just so I can have an idea of what you sound like when you sing. And I said, okay. And she told me the details, like when the performance would be, um, the days that we would have rehearsals and things like that and I, we dropped the phone I said okay I'm gonna do a little bit more than that I don't just want her to you know just listen to my voice really quickly on a device I actually do something so I um, fished out about two videos of me singing two different songs and I, uh, I kind of like I, I didn't have I had a resume but um, I thought, well, she just wanted something quick. So I just, I got a picture of myself. I got the two videos and um, I sent all of that to her. And uh, 
the the next day the next uh, morning actually she said thank you for your audition I have sent you an email and I said okay and she said oh by the way you sounded great and I thought oh my goodness did I just get the part <laughs> and I was sitting in the lunchroom at this moment so I I saw the text I went into my email and the first email I saw was welcome to mute the musical and I was freaking out I didn't know what to do y'all because I didn't really want to tell anyone right away, like anyone that I worked with right away. I was just, I was still processing it. And and that's just how I am. When something happens, I'm, I don't really rush to tell people um, whether the thing is good, if the thing is good, if the thing is bad, I don't care. I take the time to ponder it and process it first. And then the first couple people to know are my family members and then um, if it's a sure thing and I know that okay I'm okay with this then I'll go out and tell other people uh, like my friends or my co-workers that I'm close with um, and so I didn't know what to do I was sitting in my lunchroom and I was freaking out I thought oh my goodness I'm bursting with joy but I don't really want to tell anybody and so I just ate my lunch in silence and I felt like I was going to explode from the inside it was really really cool y'all but um, uh, it, it was just such a huge testimony. Uh, I'm so, so grateful to God to bring this because literally it was just dropped in my lap. I had nothing to do with it. It just came to me. And I love, I love, love, love those kinds of circumstances because then I could see God clearly at work. I'm like, I had nothing to do with this. We would do with this. It wasn't according to my power. I didn't try and do anything. It just kind of came at the right time and I'm usually extremely busy with work schedule but with my work schedule but like even the rehearsals the days of rehearsals were perfect it just all just fell perfectly in my schedule and ah uh, I don't know how ex how else to explain it I'm just grateful to God and I just thank him for this amazing miracle but I had a great experience meeting the people that I worked with, the, the other cast. And um, so yeah, here's just a short clip of what I did, some pictures, and I hope you enjoy it. And I, I, I really also hope that this encourages you that uh, there are opportunities out there that God wants to give to you. And he's going to do it in his perfect timing. He's going to do it in his perfect way, his right way. And uh, it's going to be so incredible that it's just going to cause you marvel. So just hope and just be encouraged and just look forward to what will happen in this year, 2020. Enjoy this clip, guys. My name is Itunu and I play Mandy in Mute the Musical. What do I love about her? She is, uh, she's one of the nerds of the group. She's very peppy, very energetic, um, very crazy, very out there. She speaks her mind without being afraid of whoever might oppose her. She is very in the know. So she's the one who knows all the information and she's the announcer of the group. No. Okay. So hi guys. This is Ituno coming at you with another video. Um, I'm about to go into the dressing room just to show you guys what is going on in there before the show starts. So let's go meet everyone. Everyone say hi! Hi! What's good? This is the cast of Mute the Musical. No, really? What? They, they might not know. I'm just saying. Yeah, we're just getting ready real quick. Everyone's in high spirits. He's dancing. <laughs> I guess that's why I love playing her. It is kind of fatiguing to stay in her state of mind for so long um, because she's actually the complete opposite of who I am. I'm very to myself. Um, I, I love thinking more than I like speaking. I'm usually the last person to know any information in my group of friends. Um, and 
yeah, so I really hope that uh, I play her right, because if I do, uh, lots of people are going to laugh, and it's going to put smiles on people's faces, which is one of the uh, things that I'm very, very excited about. So I hope you all come out to hear the musical and enjoy the show. <laughs>